Hello, my name is Dr. Paul Choi. I am the director of endoscopy at the Los Angeles Endoscopy Center. I'm also a fellow member of American Gastroenterological Association. In this video, I'll be discussing stomach ulcer. Stomach ulcer is an extremely common condition. It is estimated that up to 100 million individuals are affected with this condition at a given time worldwide. Stomach also forms in the lining of stomach when the wall is eroded and an ulcer is formed. The most common cause of stomach ulcer is due to an infection by an organism called Helicobacter pylori. This is an organism that resides in the stomach and causes chronic and persistent inflammation in the stomach and formation of an ulcer. Other common cause of stomach ulcer include pain medication. Pain medications that we take for aches and pain, including aspirin, Advil, and Motrin. It is also thought that smoking is important in the cause of ulcer in the stomach. On the other hand, eating spicy food, drinking coffee, or stress are not thought to be important in the formation of the ulcer in the stomach. The most common symptom associated with stomach ulcer include pain, pain in the upper abdomen. The pain may be worse after eating, it may be worse late at night, and you may often wake up with pain in the middle of night. If the pain is severe enough, uh, you may refrain from eating and over time lose weight. There may be bleeding from the ulcer causing internal bleeding that may show up as vomiting of blood or black tarry stool. To make the diagnosis of stomach ulcer, one will need to perform an upper endoscopy examination. This is an examination where a small tube is inserted into the mouth and the entire lining of the stomach wall is carefully examined. During the examination, a sampling or a biopsy may be performed from the ulcer and also from adjacent mucosa to rule out an infection by Helicobacter pylori. In the treatment of gastric ulcer, it is important that we treat and eradicate Helicobacter pylori if the infection is detected. Additionally, other risk factors such as pain medication and smoking should be stopped. It is also found that acid reduction is helpful in the healing of the stomach ulcer. As a result, we often advise patients to take medications that suppress or decrease the acid in the stomach. You can take medication called H2 blocker, commonly sold under the brand name of Zantac, Tagamet, and Pepsid, or proton pump inhibitor, sold under the name of Prilosec, Prevacid, and Nexium. One important point that you should remember about stomach ulcer is that very few but distinct percentage of stomach ulcer may actually be arising from stomach cancer. As a result, 
it is recommended that individuals who are diagnosed with stomach ulcer undergo a repeat examination approximately two months following the initial diagnosis. If the ulcer is persistent despite medical therapy, then a repeat biopsy may be performed to make sure that we are dealing with a benign condition. Stomach ulcer is an extremely common problem, often caused by infection, uh, by Helicobacter pylori, smoking, and pain medication. It is usually diagnosed with upper endoscopy examination, and treatment involves eradication of Helicobacter, stopping smoking, stopping pain medication. And if the symptoms persist, particularly, a repeat examination is necessary to make sure that the ulcer has been healed. I hope I have been able to provide you with a brief summary of this very important clinical entity called stomach ulcer. Thank you for listening.